In its role as an innovation accelerator in Japan, NEDO is conducting a demonstration project on a system that produces raw materials for ethanol and high-value chemical products from surplus bagasse in Thailand. With its year-round tropical climate and high humidity, Thailand is well suited for sugarcane cultivation and is one of the leading producers of sugarcane in the world, producing over 100 million tons annually. Thailand is home to numerous sugar mills, as sugarcane is a raw material in sugar production. In the process of sugar production in a sugar mill, Bagasse is generated in massive amounts after the sugar canes are crushed and extracted. Currently, this surplus bagasse is mainly being used as boiler fuel in plants. However, since bagasse contains cellulosic sugars as well as ingredients that would serve as raw materials for other high-value added chemical products, there is potential for more efficient utilization. In August 2016, NEDO and the National Innovation Agency of Thailand, NIA, concluded a Memorandum of Understanding regarding a demonstration project for the efficient use of bagasse. Under this Memorandum of Understanding, Japanese and Thai companies started to work together to produce high-value added substances from bagasse. กับโครงการลักษณะนี้นะครับเป็นการตอบโจทย์นโยบายในด้าน BCG Economy หรือว่า Bio Circular และ Green Economy ของประเทศไทยเป็นอย่างดีนะครับ The project is being conducted in Udon Thani, a province situated to the northeast of the capital Bangkok. Where sugarcane production is abundant. In July 2018, construction of the world's largest demonstration plant was completed within the premises of Kumpawapi Sugar Mill in Udon Thani Province, and operation has since begun. The plant has the capacity to process 5,000 tons of bagasse yearly and produce cellulosic sugars from bagasse that can serve as raw materials for bioethanol production. In addition to cellulosic sugars, the adoption of Japan's polymer membrane technology also enables this demonstration plant to efficiently produce high-value-added substances such as polyphenol and oligosaccharide. The target of this demonstration project is to achieve a 50% reduction in energy consumption during production of useful materials compared to conventional processes. Plant processes can be primarily divided into pretreatment, saccharification, and membrane separation, respectively. Bagasse that is generated from the sugar mill is transported by trucks to a bagasse loading area after which it is fed into the cutting machine so that the bagasse is finely shredded. The finely cut bagasse then moves on to the next process, pretreatment. During the pretreatment process, acid and alkali are used to change the structure of the main composition of the bagasse so it can be converted into sugar more easily and then moved on to the next process, saccharification. During this process, in addition to the pre-treated bagasse, polyphenol, a high-value added chemical product, is co-produced. During the saccharification process, the pre-treated bagasse is added to the saccharification tank with a saccharifying enzyme. Tank capacity comprises four 40 cubic meter tanks where saccharification of the pre-treated bagasse takes place. Following saccharification, a solid and liquid separation device is employed to separate saccharified liquid and solid residue 
after which the saccharified liquid is transferred to the last process of membrane separation. Membrane separation is a process that separates fine impurities, high-value added substances, and moisture. Multiple polymer membranes are used to separate small solids, saccharifying enzymes, oligosaccharides, and cellulosic sugars in a saccharified solution in descending order of molecular size. Separated saccharifying enzymes are reused in the saccharification process, where oligosaccharides and cellulosic sugars are extracted as high-value-added substances. Moreover, liquid generated after membrane separation is reused in the form of clean water within the plant's processes. The utilization of polymer membranes enables high-value-added substances to be produced effectively, while also conserving energy. At this demonstration plant, refined polyphenols are co-produced at the end of the pretreatment process, and oligosaccharides, as well as cellulosic sugars, are manufactured at the membrane separation process in the form of high-value-added chemical products. Polyphenols have deodorizing and antioxidation effects that can be diversely applied in various fields, including food and so on. Furthermore, oligosaccharide can be applied to livestock feed. On top of that, cellulosic sugars can be used as raw materials for bioethanol fuels. This project also emphasizes human resources development. A locally established company in Thailand employs local people and helps them acquire know-how on the operation and maintenance of each process of the demonstration plant. The project also proactively fosters people who play pivotal roles in preparing for the future expansion of this system in Thailand. เอ่อเอ่อในอนาคตที่ว่าบริษัทซีบีทีสามารถเอ่อก้าวเข้าสู่การทําบิสเนสเอ็นเตอร์เพรสไทด์แล้วก็อ่าเป็นที่ยอม